everyone, we're going to determine whether the series converges absolutely, converges conditionally, or diverges. So we're going to use the nth term test for divergence. Um, I'm going to write this as the limit as n approaches infinity of absolute value of a sub n. This is going to be your a sub n here. So this is going to equal the limit as n approaches infinity of n factorial divided by 2 uh, to the power of n. All right. Uh, now let's see what this looks like. If you expand this, we're going to get the limit as n approaches infinity. And if you just expand this a little bit, this is like n times uh, n minus 1 times n minus 2. Um, uh, and this is all divided by 2 here. Right? If you just do it that way, dot, dot, dot. Um, and if you do the last three terms, it would be 3 halves times 2 halves times 1 half, like that. All right. Or you could write it as the limit as n approaches infinity of your first term times your last term. And the reason you could do that is because um, if you just do your first term and your last term, it's going to be greater than when you do uh, all of these terms. So, for example, if I write uh, n divided by 2 um, times dot, 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 times your last term would be 1 half. You could also write this as 1 times 1 dot, 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 times 1 times 1 and say that this is greater than or equal to this one is greater than or equal to this. All right. So basically, if we just do the first term and the last term, it's greater than this. So we only need to take the limit of the first and last term. So that's going to equal the limit as n approaches infinity. And if you multiply these two, this is going to be n divided by 4. Uh, well, that just goes off to infinity. So that is uh, the limit fails to exist. Therefore, this is divergent. I'll just write diverges. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.